everyone and welcome back to my second channel. So I really wanted to film a little mukbang Q&A because it's been a while since I've done a Q&A on this channel and I feel like a lot has happened since my last Q&A so I wanted to update you all. And I have a yummy snack for today's meal. I have this falafel wrap from Farm Boy. I guess they're like the Canadian version of Erewhon, but like way less expensive than Erewhon. But I haven't had one of these in a long time and I do like to treat myself with them. They're really healthy and also delicious. And then I also picked out as my big drink the Rococo peanut butter shake or chocolate shake. I don't know. I got this last night with my best friend Danny when we had a sleepover. So I'm not sure if it'll still be good today, but I'm sure it's fine. But of course, before we can do any of that, I want some energy to film and for the rest of my day because after this, I have to go walk the dog in the freezing cold snowstorm. So I have to have my Magic Mind productivity shot. I've mentioned these before and I haven't been taking them every day, but what I do is I take them on really busy days or days where I'm just kind of in a slump and need a little boost of energy. Like for example, right now when it's snowy and it's so cold outside and I'm gonna need a boost of energy to go shovel and walk the dog after this. Now inside these have nootropics for focus, matcha for energy, adaptogens for less stress, and vitamins for immunity and they also have lion's mane inside and cordyceps mushrooms which is good for clarity and focus. Lion's mane is really hard to get your hands on so I love that it has that inside of it. Now I've been taking these and also my mom has been sneaking one or two and she really likes Likes them as well. Taste is really light. It's not too strong at all. And also just can we admire the packaging? So cute. So before we have lunch, let's have our little productivity shot. I always give it a good shake too before I drink it, but honestly the taste is not too strong at all. I think that's that was one of my biggest fears when trying these little like productivity or health shots just whether it was from like a store like the grocery store from farm boy for example because my best friend Danny she's had a couple and they are so strong like vinegar disgusting she is like the, that was terrible this is actually quite enjoyable it's not bad at all so I would definitely recommend these ones so be sure to check out magic mind I'll have the links in the description box for you all and be sure to check out those links now because for this January they are giving you one free month when you sign up for a three month subscription so that's really amazing and also you guys can use my code oceana20 to get an extra 20% off which gets you a total of 75% off so be sure to go check them out in a hurry because this is only for January thank you very much magic mind for partnering with me on today's mukbang q a and without further ado let's jump into some questions Alrighty, now it is time to dive into this wrap normally when i have these they're more like a wrap like actually round this one is kind of flat like a sandwich so it's interesting but inside is falafel and then i'm not sure a vegan sauce and then pickles but it's really good so that is my wrap and i will pull up the questions here so let's see what should we start off with first I usually just go by how they are like top to bottom because that's usually like order of popularity. So first one by Kather Katharina Helmer 6882. Do you come up with all the designs for your clothing line or do you have a designer of some sort who makes the designs? By the way, I love your channel and videos. They always make me smile. Thank you. I'm glad. Um, no, I actually do design all of my clothes myself. I don't have a designer. That is part of what I love. Like I love designing the pieces and there are so many pieces where it's like okay I love this but I wish it had this xyz instead so I really do love designing all my items of course that does make it a bit more stressful as well but yes I do design everything and now let's take our first bite so you have pickle pickle falafel I love watching like these chatty mukbang Q&A videos or just chatty mukbang videos when I'm eating lunch or something. So if you are also watching this while eating something, let me know what you are having for lunch or dinner, whatever it may be. Mm. Mm. I also think that they're really helpful for people who are recovering from EDs because it's nice to have like a friend while you're eating you know 
Okay. Little baby carrot. Gianna de Camella, 7448. Mm -mm. 7488. It says, Hi, Ocean. As somebody who also struggles with an ED, I'm wondering if you struggle with body image and how you manage that. Also, does being an influencer have impact on your body image? Love your videos. Wishing you well. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry to hear that you're struggling. It's definitely not easy. Um, body image, that's something that I'm trying to learn as well. So I honestly don't have too many tips for that because I'm trying to figure that out on my own through recovery as well. But being an influencer is hard because you do compare yourself to a lot of people, whether that be other ASM artists or whether that be other people just on social media. That's probably also why if you've noticed, if you go to my Instagram account, I only follow like 60 people. Um, and I purposely don't follow like a bunch of models or a bunch of big influencers because when I look at them, I instantly compare myself and that's probably like putting a bandaid over the bigger problem. It's like not following them, but at the end of the day, it does help because I'm not constantly seeing that and it's not constantly on my mind. And that's something that I've been doing for a long time now, like years is I've only followed really people who are close to me or like a few brands that I like, you know, stuff like that. So um, if you do follow maybe a lot of people and then that's why you're constantly comparing yourself, you could try that. It does, it does help me. But I think at the end of the day, you know, even myself, like talking to someone is probably best and it's good to get those feelings out with a professional because I am not a professional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like carrots are so underrated. Like, I love carrots so much. But apparently, if you eat too many carrots, you can, like, legitimately start to turn orange. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Watch Short Diego asked, How do your family members and boyfriend feel about your ASMR channel? Is everyone supportive? My family doesn't understand ASMR at all. Love you, Ocean. Keep up the amazing work love one of your loyal seashells thank you um i would say that they're all really supportive about it like even my grandpa before he passed away he would always be like i don't understand what you do but like you know do what you do type of thing so everyone has been really supportive and um yeah i've never really had any troubles with that um i wouldn't say my family wasn't not supportive but there were times when they were concerned about it just because of how I was getting bullied from it and they saw like the repercussions of doing asmr while i was in high school so though for example my mom didn't want me to keep doing it because she just saw me getting bullied and how sad i was so obviously when you see your kid going through that you don't want them to continue doing something but i stuck with it and here we are um but yeah i would say that it's definitely like i'm very lucky i would say with how supportive everyone is my boyfriend is as well he'll help me with the equipment and stuff for my videos and yeah so i'm really lucky very grateful. Next up we have a tomato. Okay, Lauren Jensen, 7976, asked, how do you stay motiv motivated and how do you stay consistent with your content? Um, I mean, when I'm feeling like in a slump, productivity shots, they legitimately do help me. Um, but also it's easier for me to stay motivated with my content when it's what I really do love doing. Like I genuinely love filming ASMR videos and I have never a short of ideas. Like I kid you not guys, I was filming videos into May, like last week. Like I don't even have videos pre-filmed up until May. I was just like, oh, this would be a vid really good video for the spring. So I filmed it for the spring. I, I should probably be focusing on videos for next week, but I'm just always have so many ideas. I'm always really excited. Like right now I have a list of over 25 video ideas and I've already pre-filmed videos like for all of February. Like I'm just constantly filming. I just really love it. It's really what makes me happy. And you can even see a big difference. Like even my partner can when I'm over there and visiting him and his family. And as much as I do love it, you can see like, just how happy I am when I get a chance to film or vlog or anything because it just instantly changes my mood 
so that really does help like the fact that I love my job and the fact that I love helping people so much but for this channel sometimes it can be harder to stay motivated because I have a shorter like I don't have as many ideas because I'm not used to doing normal speaking videos and non role plays so that's why I always ask you guys for what content you want to see and whatnot and then that helps me want to be more motivated you know it's always about having ideas in your head I think Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. let's take another bite of strap it's pretty good it's got all the veggies in it I also notice a big difference in like my energy and mood with what I'm eating whether I'm eating like salads or vegetables versus like french fries I used to only eat french fries as a vegan it's so bad mmm I mentioned that in one of my other videos how like I'm trying to eat more healthy and someone commented and they were like it sounds like you're restricting yourself with only healthy foods and that's not the case I still do indulge but the whole reason why I like I'm also trying to recover is because when I would binge I would binge unhealthy food and it just makes you feel bad so also when I do eat that unhealthy food it triggers me so why would I also go back to eating like unhealthy foods when I know that they're going to trigger me. I would rather try and cook and learn new foods that I don't have that negative connotation towards. Even if it's like unhealthy, for example, like I've tried to bake vegan cookies and vegan brownies and whatnot, and I've been fine eating those because that's not what I was having when I was binging. Whereas like if I was binging and having those bad foods, then you know what I mean? It's more of that connection. But right now, like this is delicious. Like I, I wouldn't prefer to eat burger and fries over this right now this is one of my favorite wraps from farm boy it's so good mm. karishma m asked hey ocean here just some random questions what is your current favorite item that you can't live without and what was or were your favorite videos to film so for this channel because i'm on this channel my favorite videos to film are probably like hauls or get ready with me it's just because I like to chat with you guys and seriously you guys are like my friends like I have my best friend Danny and I have my boyfriend but other than that I'm a really introverted person like I've really that's my circle so I like chatting with you guys of course and mm, my favorite my current item that I can't live without I mean oh, that's hard I I don't want to go with like the technology route but I honestly couldn't live without my laptop and my phone because that's my work and it's also how I stay in communication with my dad because I don't live with my dad he lives across the country and it's also how I stay in communication with my boyfriend because he lives across the world so you know I want to talk to the people I love so I feel like that's a big one but if we're going for not that and just something else more fun I would have to go with my Winnie the Pooh stuffed animal I cuddle that thing every night he is I love him <laughs> I love my Winnie the Pooh Sans XO231 said, What are your next steps now that you have finished university? Love your videos. Thank you. Let's try this drink, by the way. I kind of forgot I had it. I did not like that. Hey, I did not like that. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. That goes to show you at all how good the energy <laughs> The productivity energy shots taste first to this that cocoa peanut butter protein shake. Oh, I did not like that. That is no. I'm gonna give it to my mom or something. That is gross. Um oh, what are your next steps? Okay, so my next steps now that I finish university, I'm gonna continue what I'm doing in terms of YouTube. I'm gonna post more on this channel if I can, post more on my ASMR channel. I was even thinking of doing a Patreon on my other channel, just because I genuinely like I have so many videos, I video ideas. And also, I don't want to be posting every single day on YouTube because that's kind of content overload. And I just don't think I could keep up with it as consistently. Whereas, like, if I had a Patreon and I had a set schedule, then I could do that, you know? And I think that that would also make me happy and, like, like talking to people more on that and stuff. I was thinking about it. So that, I'm going to continue with it. Um, also, I'm continuing with my clothing line. I... I haven't talked about that much. I should probably do another update video on that, but I have another set of manufacturers now that I'm working with and they're located in Bali. They're a different set, 
but also they are trying to expand my size range because I am trying guys like to do that so I'm trying to expand into extra extra large which I know it's still not like all the sizes but as a small business like that's really the best I can do and I'm very open about my clothing line with you guys like at the end of the day that like my brand is not making money still it is still like not making money I'm putting money into it you have to spend money to make money but it's not like there's a I, I've made a profit from that brand so it's unrealistic for me to come out with a bunch of plus sizes or a bunch of new designs when I'm really just trying to stay afloat with that brand and at the end of the day I'm not going to give it up just yet because it's my dream I always wanted to have a clothing line so it's just hard right now but like I am trying but I just have to try within my means you know um mm. I'm also going to be helping my boyfriend with his shoots. He's a photographer, so I want to help on set with him. And just, yeah, like, moving forward with him, I want to move to the UK next year, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Honey, no milk, asked, have you ever thought of visiting Africa? I'm from South Africa, and I've been subscribed to your channel for years. Love you loads. Oh my goodness. This is so funny because my boyfriend and I really want to go to South Africa this year, like in October. So I might have to reach out to you <laughs> um, to see the best places to go. My friend is actually from South Africa, like my friend. I haven't talked to her in years, but we used to be friends. We just kind of grew apart, you know, as people get older. But I want to reach out to her as well because we do want to go to South Africa. And it's my dream to see an elephant, like, like my very biggest dream. And I am going to Bali, but... Apparently, there's no ethical Bali sanctuaries in Bali. Whoa, did I say that too many times? Yeah. But apparently, there's no ethical elephant sanctuaries there. And I tried to do research, but apparently, even the ones that say they're ethical aren't actually. So, really, the only place you can see an elephant and not feel bad about it is Africa. And it's my dream to see an elephant. So, yes, I really want to go to Africa. <laughs> okay. Um, Jaden... Jaden RJC asked, what was your biggest motivation to get through university? I'm going to college next year. I would love some tips. My biggest motivation, um, honestly, I love school. I love school in the sense that it kept me busy. I love doing my essays and whatnot. It was stressful, but I love keeping busy. And I was always someone who wanted to grow up. Um, I was very much someone who, for example, in high school, I did my work like a week in advance. If I was handing stuff in the day it was due, I felt that it was late. Like I was trying to get stuff always done a week before. I was always working ahead. So I was just kind of the person I was. Even as a little kid, I wouldn't really hang out with the kids. I would hang out with all the moms and stick with my mom and chat with the adults. So I think I was just always wanting to grow up. So I was always excited to finish university so that I could be an adult. Now that I'm an adult, I wish I didn't rush it so much and actually went out and had fun more. But I think it was just more personality based um, that I wanted to get it done. Also, I didn't really have a ton of friends in university, like, like none. So I was just very much always focused on my university work. And I think that's where some things like, it was always different, right? Like when you love your job, when I love doing YouTube, I was excited to leave class so I could go home and work. And I don't think a lot of people are like that. They're excited to go out, go out and hang out with their friends, right? Whereas I got majority of my excitement and happiness from work. So I would look forward to going home and doing work. So I think I was just more excited to finish university so that I could have more time to work and do what I love. the sauce in here and I don't know what it is is it it might be tahine
I love watching mukbangs. I'm like obsessed with the In and Out Flying Dutchman onion wrapped mukbangs. <laughs> They're so good. Mm. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Muscon Jaggy 5004 said, Hey, Ocean, you're amazing. Oh, so are you? <laughs> So here are my questions I've been curious about. How do you manage family, self-care, long distance with a boyfriend and everything else? Does YouTube sponsorships pay you well enough to manage everything? Did you ever think of having a third stream of income? Oh my goodness. What is your favorite dish from Indian cuisine? And what is your biggest dream that is yet to come true? Um, biggest dream probably right now, other than like, you know, marrying my boyfriend is seeing an elephant. That's been my dream since I was a little kid. Um, my favorite dish from Indian cuisine, that one's harder because it used to be butter chicken, but obviously now that I'm vegan, I can't have that. Even vegetarian, I would have like butter chicken, but with the cheese curds in it. So I would just say, I really like a mango, mango curry. Is it mango chutney? I don't know. I, I think it's mango curry, but I had that in Spain and I really liked it. Do YouTube sponsorships pay you well enough to manage everything? Did you ever think of having a third stream of income? Mm. Your girl does not make enough to live off of YouTube sponsorships. I know that some people like make so much from YouTube sponsorships, but honestly, I don't. Mm. My main income comes from YouTube ads, but like, for example, on this channel, I really don't make like any money. <laughs> Um, like, honestly, I don't, this, this channel's kind of just more so for fun and just more so to get to, like, chat with you guys and get to know me better. Um, like, this channel, I might make, like, a little bit of money here and there, but not much. And on my main channel, even, like, the sponsorships I do for my ASMR channel, it's still, like, wouldn't be enough, for example, that I could, like, just live off of that and, like, pay my rent if I didn't monetize my videos. Like, no, 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 I don't. I, kudos to all the people who are making more on sponsorships because I probably just don't know how to pitch myself well enough so that's probably something I should be working on and then how do you manage self-care long distance with your boyfriend everything else um self-care I would say is probably harder like I'm trying to get better at it right now it's just a bit stressful because like I'm moving into my new apartment which I'm going to film for you guys and I'm just also like in between places at home and it's just a bit harder right now but once I have a set routine I'm really excited because at my new apartment I'm only 15 minutes away from my family's house so I can go to my apartment there's a gym there I can work out to my self-care film I can come here at nights and visit my family and walk the dog and spend time with my brother and I FaceTime my boyfriend every single night we do FaceTime sleepovers which means we basically stay on FaceTime the whole night <laughs> And also we do FaceTime dates, so it'll be like 4 p.m. on the dot, we have a date, we're watching a movie, you know? Um, even if like we're not there, we'll still do our best to like make dates and like we could dress up for it, we could cook together on FaceTime, stuff like that. So we really do try, it's about the effort on both sides, I would say. It, long distance only works if both people want it to work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna grab water though because that drink is not okay. Unfortunately, I'm almost out, but something is better than nothing. <laughs> I would have sipped on that productivity shot if I knew that drink was gonna be gross. It's just kind of like powdery, I guess. But I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to taste like that. I kind of thought it would taste more like chocolate milk. <laughs> Oops, that was open. Mm. Mm. It's spilling everywhere now. Okay. I was like, maybe I didn't shake it well enough. I don't know. I think it might taste better if I blend it with ice cream. <laughs> okay. Let's answer a few more questions now. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. LMAO5934 said, okay, first, I love your videos. <laughs> Thank you. And two, how did you realize that you were relapsing? That may be a personal question, but I've dealt with little spurts, but I can never tell if it's, if that's 
if it's that or my medicine side effects with loss of appetite well i think for that like i'm not on any meds that would make me have loss of appetite and i've never been one to for example like use recreational substances for example you know that would make you also lose appetite i don't smoke um like cigarettes because you know that can make you have loss of appetite and for me like when i was relapsing it was pretty obvious like i was like okay i've spent two hundred dollars on food today and i've kept none of it down like it was very obvious i was binging and purging like at my worst like five times a day like it was constant and it was obviously exhausting so i was doing nothing else but that and also my depression was the worst it ever was like i would not leave bed for days and i've never been like that before so it was just very obvious to me that i was like okay something is really wrong <laughs> Um, but I think if you're on medication, then it might be harder to tell, yeah. Orchid Lover 222 asked, I know you love to travel and I was just wondering what you thought about the ethics of tourism and environmental local effects. I feel like your environmental knowledge would provide a really interesting perspective. So glad you're also doing Eat With Me as they really help me. Well, I'm glad they help. Um, I think that, you know, there's a really big difference between, like, me traveling and wanting to explore the world versus, like, like the thing is we will never be 100 percent eco-friendly like you know if you live off grid and you are that then that is amazing to you kudos to you but i am never going to be like that i'm already making changes in my life to like be vegan and try and buy like um like reusable products like bar shampoos all of that stuff so i do try to make changes but at the end of the day i do want to see the world and the carbon footprint that's going to happen from me taking a couple like a few trips a year on big flights that are in economy is not the same as for example taylor swift taking her private jet every single day like the amount of emissions that come from celebrities and their private jets and big corporations is nothing compared to us just like as regular people oh look at look at arrows came in my baby so that's why also i don't think we should feel guilty for wanting to travel and see the world because at the end of the day our like our those changes if you decide to not take a flight it's not going to change at the end of the day the big issue which is big corporations polluting and emitting carbon dioxide and celebrities taking private jets everywhere or ceos taking private jets everywhere like that's it's not going to change that if you decide to you know be selfless and not take that flight odds are that flight's probably still going to run and way more missions are going to be polluted anyways because of big companies so it's really hard because if the changes need to happen from the top they can't happen from the bottom and like that's just at the end of the day that's that's how it is it's unfortunately you and me we aren't the problems it is the big companies because like they, they're the issue like at the end of the day they are the issue and there's nothing really you and i can do about that we can try and advocate for for change and you know try and push them to make changes but at the end of the day these are the big companies ruling the world and it's really hard for you and i to make changes they have to happen at the top with people who have proper authority like it's just really difficult you're cute do you want to say hi to everyone hello hello he's cute hello he's outside he smells like mud and snow why are we going outside babe it's cold out there it's cold um okay oh this one has 18 likes i'm surprised it wasn't at the top emma christine said how have you managed being long distance with your boyfriend well like i said we do the facetime sleepovers which has been really good like we talk every single day multiple times a day but also um like with his job he travels a lot and um because he travels a lot for like photography campaigns that's easier for him to come and see me and for us to meet somewhere right and that's a big reason why i'm also traveling so much right now as well is because i want to see him like i've never traveled this much in my life also because i was in school but now because i do want to see the love of my life i have to make the effort to try and see him wherever it may be right um so there's that and also we're really really honest with each other like we have a lot of big talks we have a lot of like we're both very emotionally invested so i've never been so open and honest with anyone and neither has he so i think it's just like we both know we're really in this you know for the long haul 
Okay, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Oh, Savannah 309 said, have you ever thought about getting into acting? Because I think you are a fabulous actress. I really do. Oh, thank you. I have thought about it, but I've never taken acting classes and I would just need to be here for like, I think two months straight to take an acting class. And I just don't know if I would be like, I am constantly, because even when I'm here, like at home right now, my current apartment is over three hours away. So it's not even like if I were to take acting classes here that I could go back and forth. Like right now I'm just kind of a mixed bag all over the place. So until I get settled in my new place and kind of have more of a routine right now, it's just harder, but I do want to take, I don't know, like ballet classes and it would be fun to try an acting class. Like why not? You only live once. Um, Medak4997 said, did you ever consider buying a house with your partner? Is it expensive to own a house in Canada? Is it cheaper to rent? Oh my goodness, girl. It is so expensive um, to live in Canada. Eros, what's wrong? Come on now. Come here. It is so expensive to buy a house in Canada. Like, it is insane. The housing market is insane. And it's really sad that Canadians can't afford, like, to buy a house. Like, it's it's so sad that we can't. Um, even really, really crappy houses are, like, a million dollars. Like you could buy a one bedroom house in Toronto and it would be a million dollars, which is insane. So we wouldn't be looking to live here. We'd be looking to live in the UK. Now I am also aware of the housing crisis in the UK. I'm not saying that the UK is any less expensive per se, but for example, us living out in the countryside in the UK would be much more enjoyable than us living out in the middle of nowhere in Canada. Also just in terms of like weather, a. Eh? and be his work, he couldn't live in the middle of nowhere in Canada because he needs to be close to airports for his work because he will have companies tell him next day you need to be in France for this or next day you need to be in Mexico for this. Like that's just how his work is. So he needs to be close to an airport. And at least if we're in the countryside, it's like an hour and a half to an airport versus you could be like countryside in Canada and be like four hours away from an airport and with the snow and everything it's just it's ridiculous and the infrastructure in Canada is not great either like for example taking the train from Kingston to Montreal because that's what we were planning on doing takes the same amount of time as driving it takes three hours like the trains are slow I'm not saying that there's necessarily anything wrong with that but in the UK or Europe, it is much faster to take a train. People take the train because it's quick and it gets you there fast and, you know, it's cheaper. It is, it costs more for me to take the train with my boyfriend than for me to drive. It costs more and it takes the same amount of time. So why wouldn't I just drive, you know? And that's also the part that is frustrating because it also makes living less sustainable as well. I would prefer to take public transport and save that gas save that money, save that energy and take the train like everyone else. But what would incentivize me to do that when it takes the same amount of time and costs more? Do you know what I mean? So like, again, that's just another example of it's not us that are the issue. It's like Bayer company is not making sustainability more accessible and more attainable. My dad asked, how awesome is your dad? Very awesome. He's the best dad in the world. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Dun, 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 dun. Sophia7599 asked, have you had to go through bad past relationships to finally find a man who treats you like you deserve? Girl, yes. I have been through so many terrible relationships. Like, the kind of relationships where you're like, mm, that's like really questionable. Like, really bad ones. However, it makes me appreciate my boyfriend even more and those experiences wouldn't make me who I am today. Like, do I think I should have had to go through them? No, but being treated, for example, like a walking ATM made me realize I shouldn't be treated like a walking ATM, for example. Like, it just, I'm a very giving person, so I think certain things I would let slide. And then as I got older and looked back or talked to my friends about things, they'd be like, that's not okay at all. Like I've definitely kissed many, many, many frogs to get to my partner. I'm not saying that that's how it has to go. Like no one deserves to be in a bad relationship. I'm just saying, I think when you compare yourself to maybe people online, you can think, oh, their life is so perfect. And oh, they must've dated so many amazing people. 
I've been with some nice people, but nobody liked my boyfriend. He is the most amazing person in the world. And also I've been with some really, really, really bad people who also perpetuated my eating disorders and perpetuated like my mental health issues and just didn't care. Like they purposely did or purposely made comments, you know? So it just made me realize what I actually deserve, you know, and how I should actually be treated. So kiss for bells, kiss many frogs, but I finally found my prince and I did, did meet him in France at a castle. So what's more Prince Charming than that? But yeah, my seashells. But yeah, that is all for this little mukbang q and I hope that you enjoyed. It was really chatty, relaxing, laid back. I think for my next video, I'm going to do either a skincare routine or like pamper night. I think that that would be kind of nice and fun to do together. Just like chatting about some of my favorite products, my skincare journey, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. Like I said, be sure to check out Magic Mind. I'll have the links in the description box and be sure to check out them out ASAP because it's only for January. But yeah, I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Happy winter snowstorm. <laughs>